A lot of sneakers look good out of the box. They feel good, they smell good, but how do they hold up? I've had the LeBron 15 since it released, and I've played a lot of basketball in them. A lot of basketball. I took them to Colorado and competed at the Olympic training facility in the USA three-on-three -three nationals. I've played in different states, on different courts. I have put these to the test, and a lot of people still ask me about this shoe in particular, so I felt it was only right to give you an update. For starters, they do run a tad big, and I don't know if anyone else has had this problem, but I have to wear two pairs of socks when I play in them, or my toes get tore up. This battle knit is no joke, very rugged. But when I do go with two socks, they're super comfy, and that is because of the cushioning, which is pretty much always top notch in LeBron's. But I think this is the best cushioning since the 10, well, really second to only the 10. Nothing else is messing with those. On the 15, they used Max Air and Zoom Air, which is a lot of air. Now here's something to be careful for though. Like a lot of LeBron sneakers, you sit up a little bit higher in the shoe, and so you can be a little more likely to roll an ankle. I hadn't rolled my ankle in years, but yesterday while I was playing in the ATG Pro-Am down here in Clearwater, Florida, I rolled my ankle. Sad day. Not really, I kept playing, but still. And I've hooped in these 100 times and my ankles were fine, so it isn't a big deal, but it is something to note. Also, if we're looking at negatives, not a great shoe for outdoors. I know a lot of people play outside, especially now in the summertime, but the traction wears down super quick outside. I wore mine down and really need a new pair for indoors now. Other than that, the traction is good, just not super durable. Lockdown and support are both good, but again, it's a higher ride. So if you have ankle sprain issues or a history of that, stick to something lower like maybe the Kyrie or Curry line. Overall, they've held up really well, minus the outsole, and in fairness, I played them quite a bit outside. I always recommend having an indoor pair and an outdoor pair if you're able to. Comfort gets better and better for me. The cushioning is just as good as it was initially, hasn't bottomed out at all, and the fit is still the same. This battle knit keeps its shape and structure well, which was something I worried about at first because some fly knit sneakers don't. These are definitely one of my favorite basketball sneakers of the last few years. Really, really good shoe. I've played well in them. Leave a comment below and let me know what is your go-to sneaker right now for basketball? What are you lacing up on the court? Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. I will see you all very, very soon. Adios.